Today we're just going to do a short video on laminitis. A bit of, it's just a bit of background information for owners so that they can um, get their head around a fairly complex disease process. What is laminitis and is this different to founder in horses? What causes laminitis in horses? There are many different causes of laminitis and I like to break these down into three different categories. Toxin induced, hormone associated and excessive mechanical forces. Are there different grades of laminitis? Developmental, acute, chronic unstable, chronic stable, and fatal sinker syndrome. What are the signs of laminitis that owners should be mindful of? Does feed cause laminitis and how does this happen?
Is there a treatment available that helps prevent this debilitating disease and how does it work? How long should you wait before bringing your horse back to work after it has had a bout of laminitis? Can repeat attacks of laminitis occur? Great, I hope everyone enjoyed that brief introduction to laminitis. Um, if you have any further questions, you can contact us at the Equine Podiatry and Lameness Centre here in Musselbrook, New South Wales. I'd just like to thank the Equine Dental Vets for allowing me to come and speak to you all.